Hello, this video is in response to the Amazing Atheist and his rant on vegetarianism. Um, I just thought there needed to be some uh, information put out there. So here goes. A solution to the water crisis would also solve the issue of global warming and our health care crisis in America. As strange as it may seem, these three issues are intertwined and inseparable. As global warming accelerates the loss of our glaciers, our supplies of fresh water are reduced on a global scale. In this proposal, we shall examine how the fresh water shortage, America's health crisis, and global warming are all a result of human choices. There is no argument on this issue, only arguments on how to provoke a change in our choices. Choices now devastating to our planet and all of humanity. Let's take a look at water usage and conservation practices. We hear a lot about being careful when we brush our teeth, not to leave the tap running, go to natural desert landscaping instead of lawns. We all know that to install water saver shower heads and toilets would help to conserve and not waste this precious resource. All of these ideas are good and should be implemented into our daily lives. As individual human beings, we each use hundreds of gallons to thousands of gallons of fresh water every day in a way that most people never think about. It is not our sinks, showers, toilets, dishwashers, washing machines, lawns, or even our swimming pools. What is it that uses so much fresh water, you ask? It is the water we use to grow and produce our food. In America, we have a population of 303 million 824,650 citizens according to the 2008 estimate. For our purposes here, we will call it 304 million. Out of that 304 million Americans, there is a group of 6 million that use 300 gallons a day for every single person in order to produce their food intake. This group uses 1,800,000,000 gallons of fresh water every day. Sounds like a lot of water per person, doesn't it? Let's not get too hasty in our judgments. Not just yet. For there is a group of 12 million Americans that use a whopping 1,200 gallons of water a day per person to produce their daily food intake. This group uses 14,400,000,000 gallons of fresh water every day. You might think with how gluttonous these two groups above us are on water usage that there is no wonder we have a water shortage. It would seem amazing that there would be any water left for the last group. So here we are at the last group. 286 million Americans. So how many gallons of water a day per person do you think this group uses? Well, on average, this group uses an unbelievable 4,000 gallons of fresh water per person to produce their daily food intake. This group of Americans uses 1,144,000,000,000 gallons of fresh water a day to produce their daily food intake. If you add up all the fresh water that these three groups of Americans use every single day for food production, you begin to get a picture of why there is a fresh water crisis. We are using it up at a rate far beyond what nature can provide. At current usage, we are going to run out. Oh, by the way, our combined daily water use for all three groups is 1,289,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,
286 million Americans choose to eat a diet containing meat, dairy, and eggs. Let's reiterate this so that it is easy to understand. The individual vegan uses an average of 300 gallons of fresh water per day for their food intake. The individual oval lacto vegetarian uses an average of 1,200 gallons of fresh water per day for their food production. The individual meat eater uses an average of 4,000 gallons of fresh water per day for their food production. So you might ask, how can this be? Why does a diet containing animal foods use so much more water? Here's a quick explanation. To produce one pound of beef, it requires 2,500 gallons of water. That's just what it takes. A hundred times the amount of water it takes to grow a pound of wheat. The production of meat, dairy, and eggs uses an exorbitant amount of water compared to any plant crop. The sad part of this is that the animal food industries receive huge water subsidies from the state and federal governments. If consumers had to pay the true cost of water at the store, a pound of hamburger would be $35. If you add all the energy costs associated with beef production, a pound of beef would cost $90. With all the environmental costs added in, a pound of beef would cost over $800. So let's have some more fun with the math. I will use Lake Mead as an example. Lake Mead is the largest man-made reservoir in the United States. It is 110 miles long, 247 square miles of surface area, and it can hold 28.5 million acre feet of water. That is 9.2 trillion gallons of water when it is full. At current levels, it is somewhere around 4.6 trillion gallons half empty or half full depending on how you look at things. One thing is for sure that the water level is continually dropping. Let's imagine for a moment that all 286 million Americans from the third group made a choice to go vegan. In one day that would save 1 trillion 58 billion 200 million gallons of fresh water. If they continued their vegan diet for a month, 31 days, they would save 32 trillion 804 billion 200 million gallons of fresh water. That would be enough water to fill Lake Mead three and a half times. Just imagine if America chose to go vegan in little of no time all our reservoirs would be full again. In reality this would only work once animals were no longer being raised for food and their numbers came down to a sustainable level. Okay, that solves the water crisis, but how does that fix global warming and America's health crisis? Well, it's a nasty big secret that the meat industry rather you not know. Raising so many billions of animals for slaughter has a nasty side effect. Millions of animals raised for slaughter produce massive amounts of methane gas. The world's cattle population emit into the atmosphere 100 million tons of methane each year significant enough levels to heat up the planet. Methane is a greenhouse gas that holds 25 times the heat that CO2 holds. It is, it is estimated that half of all of global warming is caused by methane produced by animals being raised for food. Methane from animals being raised for food is responsible for more global warming than all the cars in the industry combined. Not only that, all these animals produce billions of tons of sewage waste. A lot of that waste is polluting our rivers, streams, and aquifers, further damaging our freshwater resources. If the insanity of raising all these animals ended, so would their production of methane. Methane cycles out of the Earth's atmosphere much quicker than CO2. In as little as eight years, we could be turning global warming around. I wish this was the end of the issue, but raising meat adds to global warming in another way. Animal production has a huge carbon footprint. When you add up all the petroleum products it uses for farming the hay and grain, trucking the animals and running the feedlot operations, trucking them to the slaughterhouses, processing the meat, refrigeration, and shipping it to your local stores, by the time you add this all together, 
Every pound of meat uses a gallon of petroleum. Every gallon of petroleum produces 20 pounds of CO2 that ends up in our atmosphere.